Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona 09415044, Florida L076508, Georgia 69178, Idaho MLO 20802372926, Illinois 031.0058339, Missouri, North Carolina I210940, Nevada 57237, Oregon, Tennessee 184373, Texas, Washington MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done When you're in need and don't know where to go Pick up the phone and call mom Okay, so welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcoux. I am the Mortgage Mom. And today we are going to be talking about your blended rate. Do you know what your blended rate is? Why are we talking about this today? So I don't know if any of you know, but I'm going to talk about it. The Fed did come out today. They had a meeting. They said that they are still going to continue to hold the Fed funds rate where it's been for the last 18 months or so, and uh, they're not going to bring that down until they see sufficient cooling in the economy. Now, today we also got our CPI report, which is our inflation report, and that actually came out really, really good. Um, so we are looking like we are headed in the right direction. The Fed has said multiple times, and I've talked about this before, that if they cut too soon, that they are worried that all of the work that we've done, all of the uh, improvement that we've seen, that we could possibly end up going the wrong direction. So they are going to watch the economy very, very closely because obviously if they keep those interest rates too high for too long, they could send us charging into a disaster. But at the same time, they want to make sure that we do sufficiently cool down to that 2% inflation that they are looking for. So today was actually very positive news, nothing out of the ordinary. We expected them to hold again today. I've been saying for almost the last two years on this show that I really didn't think that we were going to see any rate cuts until fourth quarter of 2024. It is looking like it's shaping up that we will probably get our first First rate cut in that fourth quarter this year, but they do still just need to continue to watch us as we move forward. So with that news, though, of that inflation report of that CPI that came out, we did see bonds rally. And I've talked about it numerous times in the past as well, that when the bonds rally, when the mortgage-backed securities and the treasuries go, you know, get better, that we do see interest rates come down for mortgage loans. So we are tied directly to those types of securities. We are not directly connected like a home equity line or home equity loan or short-term loan uh, like your car loan. We are not directly connected to that Federal Reserve prime rate, which is why our interest rates change on a daily basis. They are changing with the environment, with the news, with uh, stocks, with treasuries, with mortgage-backed securities. We are moving with the market. So with the news of the inflation getting better today, which means that we are starting, we aren't just starting, we've been moving, but we are continuing to move in the direction that we want to see for positive uh, rate cuts down the road. So with that, though, we do have a lot of people that have a lot of debt right now, and we do have interest rates that are starting to come down. So today's show is going to be all about debt consolidation, your blended rate. What is your blended rate? Do you know what that is? What is the very best way for you to take care of those high interest credit cards, those higher interest loans, those personal loans that are out there that are super high? So that is what today's show is going to be all about. We are going to take a very quick commercial break. And when we get back, I'm going to jump right into it. So here we go. She's a mortgage mom. This is Debbie Marcoux, the mortgage mom. Well, I've had a lot of questions lately. What can I do to bring my monthly payment down until interest rates get better? Well, if you are a buyer and you're out looking at homes, what you want to focus on is a program called a 2-1 buy down. If the market rate today is 7%, you would start your first year at 5%. 
year two at 6%, and year three through 30 would be at that 7%. It's a great way to enter the market today knowing that rate cuts are just around the corner. Give us a call or head on over to our website at mortgagemomradio.com. Debbie Marku is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, NMLS ID 237926. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Okay, so welcome back to Mortgage Mom Radio. I'm Debbie Marcoux. I am the Mortgage Mom, and we are going to be talking debt consolidation today and what is your blended rate, and do you know what it is? So the first thing I wanna say is that if you have no idea what your blended interest rate is, you are more than welcome to give us a call or set yourself up with an appointment with me so that we can go through your debts together. Now, the most important thing with that though, and I do want you guys to hear this, is that you need to have a good list of all of your debts. I can't tell you what your blended rate is unless we know how much you owe, to who, what your interest rate is that you are paying on that debt, and what type of debt is it? Is it a loan? How many years are left and outstanding? Is it a revolving debt? Is it a credit card? So what is really, really important, number one, is to pull every single debt that you have. That includes your mortgage. That includes your car. That includes anything you have. If you have a boat, if you have an RV, if you have a personal loan, if you have student loans, you want to make sure that you pull all of those statements together and you have them available. Now, sometimes it's easier. A lot of us don't keep paper copies of our statements anymore. And instead we pay everything online. So log into all of those accounts and get that information. It is very, very important for you to know what you owe and to who and how much longer do you have remaining on that debt. So from there, we are going to start to calculate. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that blended rate so that you can get an idea of how it works and an understanding. So what is important that that you know many of you that are listening are homeowners. And this show is really directed at homeowners because you are the ones that have equity in your homes to help you consolidate this debt and get it paid. Now, if you don't own a home, you aren't a homeowner, but you have debts, you could still be looking at personal loans to get things consolidated. So again, I'm more than happy to talk with anybody out there that wants the help, that wants to understand, and wants to know what they are paying overall in total in an interest rate every month. So please feel free to still reach out. This does not exclude you if you are not a homeowner, but today's show is really going to be focused at those people who are homeowners who do have a lot of equity. Now, many of the homeowners that are out there who do have a lot of equity do not want to do a refinance right now. They love their interest rates in the three and three quarter percent range. Some of you are at four and a quarter, some of you are at five, and many of you just absolutely love those interest rates and you don't want to lose them. And I totally get it. I completely understand that is a very good thought process. However, many of you do have other debts like I've been talking about, and I've said it on other shows, that the American debt has gotten to the highest levels of all time. What you owe on your credit cards and other loans that you have outstanding is at the highest that it's ever been in all time. So I know that many of you out there are struggling right now. You're using credit cards to pay for your lifestyle because things have gotten so expensive. With interest rate hikes, your credit cards that used to maybe be in a 15 or 16% range have now all of the sudden jumped up to 24%. I've seen many credit cards that have come across my desk here recently that have been 29, even 32%. So if you're not watching those credit cards and you're not keeping an eye on the interest of what you're paying on those balances, it's very, very important that you stop and that you pull that today and you look at it because there's a very good chance that you are way, way up there in some of those debts. So let's talk about the blended rate. How do we get there? And then what is your best option to move forward to get that debt consolidated? 
So number one, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put all of your debts into a spreadsheet. And that is why I said it's so important that you have that information available for our appointment. And again, you can go to my website, you can book yourself an appointment. We're available Saturday and Sunday as well. You can book it then, or you can call my office and you can just ask you know who is available and someone in my office on my team including me will be available to help you if you do call in so that number is just so you guys don't so you know it it's 844-935-3634 so what we're going to do is we're going to plug all of that information into a spreadsheet and we're going to label every single account that you have you owe capital one 10,000 discover card 14,000 and these are very very realistic numbers the majority of the clients who have been calling me recently that need to get this debt consolidated are needing either a home equity loan or line or they're needing a full refinance to pay off debt that is 60,000, 80,000, 120,000. When we start getting into student loan debt and we start adding cars and things of that nature, we start getting up there even further. So it is very, very important that you have everything that you owe to every single person out there and you know what your terms are. So from there, we plug it into the spreadsheet and we're going to include that low mortgage that you have of three and a quarter, 4%, 5%, whatever that interest rate might be. And then we're going to start adding all of those other debts. And then we're going to calculate what your blended interest rate is. From there is where we're going to determine if it makes more sense to do a home equity loan to get everything paid off, leaving your current for first mortgage in place intact, or if it is actually cheaper to consolidate all of it together into one new loan. And I have quite a few clients right now where it actually makes more sense to do the refinance rather than the home equity loan. So now I'm gonna get into some examples for you to give you a better understanding. And then again, every single person is so personalized. You all owe something different, a different dollar amount on your mortgage. You all have a slightly different interest rate on that dollar amount. You all have different debts that you owe and different interest rates that you pay on those debts. So you're all very personalized and we've got to get down to it with each of you individually. So let's talk about some scenarios. I actually pulled them up and did the calculations for you guys on some very recent calls that I've received to my office. So the very first one was someone who owed $600,000 on their first mortgage, and they needed about 60,000 to pay off their credit card debt. When I did the calculation of all of their credit cards and the interest rates that their credit cards were at, along with their 600,000 at three and three quarters percent, their blended interest rate was at 5.59%. So they are actually paying on a monthly basis, even with that super low interest rate at 5.59%. Now, interest rates have definitely come down to the highs that we saw where we were way up into the sevens. We had even gotten into the eights, eight and a half at one point in time, uh, maybe about 12 months ago or so. But interest rates have definitely come down as we are starting to see the forward progress of inflation cooling and and the economy cooling. So as of today, interest rates are going to be somewhere between about six and a half and about 7%, depending on you. How much do you owe? How much do you need? What is your credit score? What type of property do you have? All, everything goes into what the interest rate is that you will get. But if we're right now today, not paying any points, not paying anything crazy fees to get an interest rate down or to buy that interest rate down, we're gonna be somewhere between that six and a half and 7% mark. So in this situation, the current amount that they are paying is at 5.59. So it would not make sense to do a refinance, a complete full refinance of both loans, the mortgage, and all of the other debts to pay them off. In this scenario, it made more sense for us to move forward with a home equity loan 
keeping that current first mortgage with that big balance at 600,000 and three and three quarter percent interest rate and paying off all of those super, super high credit cards that were in the 24% range on average and bringing it down to in a home equity loan at a much lower interest rate. Home equity loans right now are anywhere between eight and three quarters to 9% and as high as 12 and a half percent. Again, depending on you, how much equity do you have? What is your credit score and how much money are you trying to pull out? But even at those highest, highest interest rates at 12% for $60,000, that is well, well below what that person was paying on credit card debt at 24, 29, an average of 24. So in that situation, it made more sense for us to move forward with a home equity loan as the loan application that we did. So I'm gonna give you guys more scenarios as well. I pulled up a whole bunch of them to give you an idea. Maybe one of them resonates with you. But again, I wanna remind everybody that you are more than welcome to go to my website to mortgagemomradio.com and book yourself an appointment. Pull your statements, book yourself an appointment, and we are going to do it together. I'm going to talk with you one-on-one. Heather's going to talk with you one-on-one. Somebody from the team is going to go through it with you to determine what your blended rate is today and what would be your very best option moving forward to get that debt consolidated. So we'll be right back. Here we go. Marku is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, NMLS ID 237926. She's a mortgage mom. This is Debbie Marcoux, the mortgage mom. Well, consumer debt is at an all time high. Many of you are tapped out on those credit cards, but many of you have a lot of equity in your home. It might be a great time to explore a home equity line of credit or home equity loan. Give me a call at 844 935 3634 or head on over to my website at mortgagemomradio.com. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Okay, so welcome back to Mortgage Mom Radio. I'm Debbie Marcoux. I am the Mortgage Mom. And to remind everybody, if you would like to give my office a call, if you don't want to schedule an appointment, you're hearing this right now and you're like, I just really need to get some information, give us a call at 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. W E L E N D and the number four. Now, many of my listeners are listening to me on Go Country 105 on Saturday morning. And I do want to let you guys know that if you call and you get the voicemail, that is because there is only one person that is on call over each weekend. So you just happen to, they might be on another call with someone else. Please don't hang up and just leave a message. Please leave a message and we will call you back. I do promise that. And you will get a call back on Saturday. You will get a call back on Sunday. So please do not hesitate. Also, if you'd like to just book yourself an appointment so that you know that you are going to get a call from us exactly on the dot, on the minute that your appointment is scheduled for, go to our website, go to mortgagemomradio.com. There is a book appointment button. So you can go ahead and schedule your appointment and you will get a call at that very minute that that appointment shows up. So um, please feel free to do that. So jumping back into some more scenarios, again, to help you guys determine whether or not you should be doing a complete refinance or whether or not you should be doing a home equity loan instead, keeping that current first mortgage intact. I did a whole bunch of scenarios that I've seen recently. And so I'm gonna continue doing that, hoping that one of these scenarios might resonate with you and maybe it's a very similar situation. But again, if it doesn't, none of the situations that I go through here, none of these scenarios are for you. I'm every single person is so individual. Why not get that individual attention? Give us a call and let us do it with you. We will even print it out and send it over so that you can see how we did the calculations 
and the calculators do not lie. Making the decision of how best to do a debt consolidation loan, whether that be a refinance or whether that be a home equity loan or home equity line is all based on a calculator. The calculator shows you the numbers and from there you decide what is the best way to move forward for you and your scenario. So here we go. Here's another one. Um, I had a client call me here recently. He had a $250,000 mortgage and his interest rate was at three and three quarters. He had $60,000 in credit card debt and um, his average on that credit card debt, again, most of these that are coming through, coming across my desk right now, are averages of about 24%, and that's a right about where he was at as well. So when I actually looked at that scenario, I did it in two different ways. He did have a little bit lower credit score. We were going to go to a higher loan to value. We were going to have to get money out of his property all the way up to 90%, which meant that he was only going to have about 10% equity left in his home. So that was going to make that home equity loan a more expensive loan and the interest rate higher. So I did run the blended rate calculator with his three and three quarters of 250,000, as well as his $60,000, assuming that the interest rate was 12%. His his blended rate with everything at 24% was actually at about six and three quarters, almost 7%. But when we broke them down separately, kept his current mortgage intact at that low three and three quarters, he was actually at a blended rate of 5.35% with a 12% second mortgage. So with that, it made again more sense to have that equity loan versus a complete full refinance for his scenario. Um, and here's the next scenario, scenario number three. All right, this person had a $600,000 mortgage, a three and three quarter percent interest rate. And that seems to be a very, very popular interest rate right now with homeowners that they all took advantage of in 2021. Now, this person had $150,000 worth of debt that they needed to get paid off. Their blended rate in that scenario was actually at 7%. 7% was their blended interest rate. When I did that 150,000 as a home equity loan at 11%, the interest rate, the blended rate for that person was at 5.35%. So significantly, significantly lower to get all of that debt consolidated with that home equity loan. Now this client actually chose not to move forward with the home equity loan and instead wanted a refinance. They wanted a brand new, complete brand new mortgage, lose the three and three quarters percent and take a new interest rate today at six and a half percent. So why would they decide to take that higher interest rate over the lower of the two if it was just broken up into two loans? This person did not, number one, want to worry about having two loans outstanding. He just wanted everything consolidated into one mortgage. Now his monthly payment was also going to be less. The cash flow monthly for him was better when we took the entire amount and amortized it as a first mortgage over 30 years. So again, everybody has such a different personal scenario that it truly depends on you and what your goal is. If your goal monthly is to get your cash flow down as low as possible, a complete brand new full refinance may possibly be cheaper for you on a monthly payment than what it would be if it was broken up into two payments with a separate home equity loan. So again, it is something that we just have to look at and we have to determine which option is better for you personally. Uh, and every week I'm trying to bring new information. So, you know, many, many times I'm talking about brand new first time home buyers purchasing a home. How can you get in right now for a relatively lower monthly payment to try to help you while interest rates are higher? Uh, last week, I actually talked to my real estate agents about our new Redefine platform. It is redefinelo.com. And that is a new platform for real estate agents where they only need to do about 
about 10% of the work that an actual loan officer would do, but they are going to reap the rewards of actually getting paid the loan officer's commission on the deal. So if you are listening and you missed last week's show, you can either go back and watch it or you can go to redefinelo.com and put in your information and we will reach out to you to talk to you about that new program. It is phenomenal for realtors. So again, you real estate agents, that is a great one. And if you missed it, go back and watch it. Um, So thanks again, you guys for joining. I do appreciate it. Now, I did not send out a text message today. Uh, I hate to spam people. I never want to send out too many messages. Last week before the show, I actually, we had uh, technical difficulties when we went to go stream live. And so one text message did go out and then a second text message had to go out with a new link. And so I felt really, really bad about that. And I didn't want to send out another message this week. I am just not a spammer. And that is not my intention is to uh, spam you guys with multiple messages. Um, But if you do want to be on that list and you want to get that text message when I do go live and you do want to be part of the show and ask questions and put comments into the feed, you do need to text the word live to 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. W-E-L-E-N-D and the number four. Now, here's the other thing. You guys could very, very easily just subscribe to my channel. And if you're subscribing to my YouTube or my Facebook channel, you guys will be able to watch the show live. Uh, If you are on my Instagram or you are on my TikTok, you get to watch very small clips of the show that I've put out throughout the week following today's episode. So make sure you guys subscribe, follow me. What are you guys doing? I want you guys to be part of it and I want you guys to leave me comments. Um, So anyway, let's get back to these uh, scenarios, okay? Today is all about your blended rate. Do you know what your blended rate is and how are you going to get that debt consolidated? So um, the next scenario that I did was for somebody that had 60, I'm sorry, $600,000 first mortgage and they had $80,000 in debt that they needed to pay off. Their blended interest rate with everything combined was actually at about six and a half percent. This person was absolutely better off taking a home equity loan. We could have very easily gotten them into a brand new refinance in the 6% range, which means that they weren't losing anything over what they were paying today, but they were at an even lower interest rate when we did the home equity loan, bringing that down into the 5% range. So for that person, they decided to do the application and move forward with a home equity loan. So that was another good one. All right, so the next one that I did, I did one with 750 and I'm trying to find it. Here it is, because I believe that in LA, 750,000 is a very, very average loan balance. And I know for a lot of my listeners that are across the country and in other states, that sounds insane. It sounds absurd, um, but that is a very, very average loan balance for Los Angeles and for all of California, to be quite honest. So we, I did have a client that called who has a 750, hundred and fifty thousand dollar first mortgage right now and their current interest rate was at five and a half percent on their current mortgage they had about a hundred thousand dollars worth in debt that they needed to get paid off obviously their blended interest rate was sky high and so we went ahead and we looked at the differences between a home equity loan or doing a complete full refinance. So when I ran this as a home equity loan, their blended interest rate came out to 6.15%. When I ran the numbers for them to just do a complete full refinance, their interest rate was at 6.5%, and they actually decided, again, this client wanted to move forward with a complete full refinance. They felt that that was better for them. They wanted to have one monthly payment. Their monthly payment was lower, doing it all in one, and they could always refinance that, that loan down the road when interest rates do come down, which we know that that's where we're getting there. We're watching it happen. 
happen. Inflation report came out great today. Economy is definitely cooling. The Fed is holding rates steady for longer, but they are saying that they're still anticipating that we're going to see that rate cut sometime before the end of this year. I'm anticipating fourth quarter, probably November. So they decided to move forward with one full refinance, one payment, lower monthly, and they'll refinance it later once again when interest rates do come down. So I hope that I gave you guys what you needed today. I hope you get the gist of what a blended rate is. We would love to do this with you. We would love to help you understand what your blended rate is. And once again, the best way to do that is to go to my website, go to Mortgage Mom Radio. Dot com book yourself an appointment or give us a call at the office it's 844-935-3634 that's 844 we lend for you w e l e n d and the number four. I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of the week. I will be back here again next Wednesday at 1 p.m. and I'll talk to you guys all real soon. Bye-bye. Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona 0941504, Florida L076508, Georgia 69178, Idaho MLO 20802372926, Illinois 031.0058339, Missouri, North Carolina I210940, Nevada 57237, Oregon, Tennessee 184373, Texas, Washington MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done When you're in need and don't know where to go Pick up the phone and call mom 